Hey guys, Jenny here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to make a rant video as to why I hate the current state of Liturgy Bell and I will explain. Now a little background is that through Stormblood I made White Mage, Shadowbringers I made White Mage, and Walker I don't know if I should main White Mage because I hate the Liturgy Bell. Let's get started. For those of you who don't already know, Liturgy of the Bell is the level 90 White Mage skill. It places a healing blossom at the designated location and grants five stacks of Liturgy of the Bell to self. Keyword there. Self. The duration is 15 seconds, which I think is way too short. Taking damage will expend one stack of Liturgy of the Bell to heal self and all party members within a radius of 20 yalms. The cure potency is 400. The effect of this action can only be triggered once per second. The healing blossom dissipates when all stacks are expended or the effect expires. Any remaining stacks of Liturgy of the Bell, when effect expires, will trigger an additional healing effect. Cure potency 200 for every remaining stack of Liturgy of the Bell. This action does not share a recast timer with any other actions. Before I go over a lot of the negatives that I have to say about this particular skill, I'm just gonna briefly mention the pros. One, it looks cool. Two, the heal value is pretty good. Three, you still get a big heal at the end even if you don't trigger it through the conditions required. I'll get into that. And the range is pretty good. Notice this clip here. This is when Liturgy Bell actually becomes useful. I put down the Liturgy Bell, we all have bleeds, and because it procs every second, the Liturgy Bell goes off every second. Notice, even with that, I still have two stacks that would go off, which is fine, except we got less of a heal because it was not triggered. Scenarios like this example I just gave are pretty much few and far between, so because it's unreliable, what is the point? But that's pretty much where all the pros end for me anyway. I'm gonna start going over some of the cons and maybe it'll clear up some of my frustrations. A lot can happen in 15 seconds. You only have 15 seconds where this thing is on the ground active and ready to heal at a moment's notice whenever you take damage. Remember the self part in the description of the skill? Yeah, they weren't kidding. So let's say you are in a situation where you get a big juicy shield from that scholar or or sage and you're like thank you so much I really appreciate this shield and maybe your tank is worried for you because you have like a stack of own and, and you know the dark knight throws like you know TBN on you the blackest night and you're just sitting there like okay here's the damage it's coming and you don't lose any health now you're probably thinking oh great that's great you don't that's less healing right well sorry but I just used liturgy bell and it didn't trigger anything see how that can be frustrating all right I'll give an example let's say Nidhogg decided to hit us with Auchmorn for those of you who probably don't remember or do, this is a skill where you and your party have to stack as he hits you with a very powerful attack a few times in a row. Let's say he hits us five times in a row. My party groups together. We don't have any shields or anything. Maybe we do have shields, but we all take damage. Assuming that we take damage every time, Liturgy Bell with five stacks will go off every time. Okay, so that's 2000 total cure potency. Let's say the tank decides, I'm gonna take this into my own hands. I'm gonna take one for the team. And they decide to home game or Living Dead or Hollow Ground or I forget what the other one's called for Gun uh, Breaker. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, imagine they use that skill and they decide to take one for the team. They don't stack. They have the stack marker on them, but they don't take any damage because they're using that sk their skills. Well, in that scenario, let's say I threw out Liturgy Bell not knowing the tank was going to do this. Now I have 15 seconds where that Liturgy Bell is just sitting pretty on the field doing absolutely nothing for me because I, self, did not take any damage. So when it finally decides to go out with a, with a boom, I guess you could say, with the Liturgy Bell, when it finally dissipates, we're looking at a thousand total cure potency. That's half of what it could have been had your party been together and you have actually taken some damage. Pretty frustrating because the thing is you can't necessarily assume what your party is going to do, especially if you're running with uh, people you're unfamiliar with, whether it be trials or raids or any other thing. So to ask scholars and sages not to shield you is like asking Urian Jay to speak in a language I can understand. Okay? It, it just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It 
doesn't work. It's really hard to do. And now some of you are probably going to think to yourself, oh, why don't you just remove the shield from yourself? You can always right click the shield off yourself. Well, some of you didn't know that, but yes, you can. You can actually remove buffs that your ally party members put on you. Fun fact. Well, should I really have to do that? I mean, this is kind of like, this reminds me of Stormblood Monk. And they removed uh, this feature from Stormblood Monk because the, the devs just didn't like how it was being used. I'll tell you how it worked. Imagine me in Stormblood. I'm playing Monk and I have Riddle of Earth. At the time, we had a thing called Grease Lightning, where you basically had to upkeep it in order to have the most damage output possible. It, you had to maintain it to have that damage output. The way that Riddle of Earth used to work is that whenever you take damage while Riddle of Earth is active, it resets the cooldown or timer on when your Grease Lightning would expire. So you would have situations where everyone would be stacked together, you know, trying to, you know, stay okay. And then you have the monk all the way out in Africa, you know, taking a hit on purpose, getting a Vuln stack just to keep the Grease Lightning because it was efficient. Seems a little strange, don't you think? The devs didn't like that. They're like, okay, we don't want people purposely taking damage. Well, um, hello, why did you do that? Why did you implement that for Liturgy of the Bell? You literally did the same thing that you said you would remove from Monk and add it to White Mage. But instead of giving some kind of protection to the White Mage, it punishes you for being protected. What is the sense in that? I explain that. I mean, I, do I don't... <sighs> Okay. What is the point? That's what I'm, I want to know. What is the point of this? When it's basically a very situational skill. Now, I'm sure some of you are probably thinking, well, you can put it out during a time where you know a bunch of damage is going to happen one after the other. Yeah, sure, that'd be great. But this skill lasts 15 seconds. 15 seconds is shorter than what sometimes some skills take between the beginning of a cast of a boss to the beginning of the second cast of the boss. That time can be more than 15 seconds. And even if it is 15 seconds, your heal already went off. The 180 second cooldown on this skill basically feels so bad when you have a situation where your liturgy bell does not go off, it does not heal the party because you yourself did not take damage. It feels bad, it's frustrating, you can't assume that it's going to heal the party, and it might even cause a wipe. I mean, this is insane. Why would you do this? So what is the point? This is the question I keep asking. What is the point of casting it? If we're all full HP, right? Let's say we're all full HP, a whole party full HP, except for one person. Maybe the tank took a tank buster. What is the point? Of me using Liturgy of the Bell for that one person, which I wouldn't anyway, but let's say I, I threw it out there. What is the point? Of using it if I have Bene. Benediction heals that one person to full health, no matter how low their health is or how how big their maximum health is. That's just how the skill works. So I, under normal circumstances, I'm only able to use the Liturgy Bell twice per run, uh, pretty much no matter the content, even in dungeons, maybe like two or three times maximum, depending on how soon I decide to use Liturgy of the Bell. But even in dungeons, it's not really useful other than the boss fights because you're not the one pulling. If you're not the one pulling ads, you're not the one tanking and you're, well, you shouldn't be as a healer, right? What is the point of having a skill that rewards you for taking damage? as a healer and punishes you for not taking damage at all as a healer. Don't you think that's a bit strange, a little odd, nonsensical? Well, I hope you agree because that's where I'm basically at. I really don't understand what they were thinking when they decided to put Liturgy of the Bell in this game without a few quality of life things. So of course, I'm not going to just rant and talk about this skill and how much it frustrates me without actually giving some suggestions to fix it. First of all, I think the skill, once you place it, it's already on cooldown, right? Once you place it, I think it should have at least 30 seconds before it goes kaboom and just does the big heal. And I think maybe every time a stack is consumed, that timer should reset. So let's say you have the 15 seconds. Let's say you decide not to change it uh, 15 to 30. If we kept the 15 seconds and we place Liturgy of the Bell and you take damage, one hit, boom, but then no damage comes out for the rest of the 15 seconds, uh, keep in mind what I'm saying here, you would reset it every time you take damage. Now that's a little better, but it doesn't solve the issue of the timing because like I said earlier, 15 seconds is not a lot of time. You can't really assume that you're going to take damage in that time. Like, yeah, of course, if you know the fight well and this and that, whatever, I'm not getting into that. What I'm talking about is the fact that it does not make sense to use this skill during times where like your party's taking really, really strong damage just 
that's because you're not getting the full bang for your buck. I throw out, you know, something, this is kind of like interest gain, you know, like when you invest in something. I invested in, in my party by throwing out Liturgy of the Bell, right? I casted it, that is my investment. What am I supposed to get when I invest? Interest right? So interests or gains, right? So those gains would be the five stacks being used, boom, 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 in order to basically detonate the bell, as I like to say. It. Then you get 2000 cure potency. That is like best case scenario. Sometimes it's kind of lopsided and you only have maybe one or two stacks left or three stacks left or something like that. And even then the timer is only 15 seconds. So what is the point? Why would you cast this skill? I don't understand. Like, yeah, a thousand is kind of nice. It's a big heal. Okay, cool. But what is the point of that? If that heal, if that thousand heal goes off and your party's already full HP, what is the point? I don't get it. I really don't get it. I think maybe another possibility could be to, well, at least to make the skill a little bit better. What I would do is maybe take kind of like what they did with Salted Earth, like for, oh yeah, for Dark Knight. If you take Salted Earth and you decide, okay, we're going to make it so that when you cast this skill, you, you cast it on yourself and it's right under your feet. If you want to do something like that for white mage i think that's perfectly acceptable why well if we look at astro and their level 90 skill they don't need to be any type of way or place anything to use that skill it's just there so why can't white mage have that flexibility i just don't understand it now you're probably thinking if i place something it's just quick it's not that long it's not that you know crazy i'm just placing on the ground that half second that took you that it took you to place that on the ground might be this the half second you needed in order to have that liturgy bell go off in time it happens it, it just doesn't make sense to me so i i think overall maybe if they do something like they did with salted earth where um it just kind of goes down on you or even better yet if it goes down on uh someone who you target so like let's say your healer is grouped with the party but you're not because of a mechanic but you still want them to get liturgy of the bell procs if i you know target my uh co-healer and use the skill on them and the thing appears at their feet that's a much better use of the skill than what i'm currently playing with right i mean i can place it anywhere sure but i have to aim it and it's it's frustrating because um it, it just takes longer it's time wasted. Yeah, so I think the basic issues I have with Liturgy of the Bell is just the way that it's implemented, how it works. I don't like the mechanics of it. I don't think it's right to have an incentive for your white mage to take damage just to get the heals. Because if you're waiting for heals, like let's say you place a Liturgy Bell at, and everyone's like half health and you know a big AoE is going to come off, like go off, you can't even detonate the bell sooner. Like um, I think Earthly Star is like that. Uh, yeah, you put your, so Astro, you put down your Earthly Star, the big circle, and you know, you can detonate it early. I don't even have that option with Liturgy of the Bell. So maybe what they could do is just put it up indefinitely, maybe no cooldowns, and then when people in general take damage, or I don't know even how you would justify it, but I think that if you yourself take damage and it's going based on you taking damage, there needs to be a better way to implement it so that it's going off at appropriate times. I don't need people wiping on me or getting a big heat when they're full health it doesn't it doesn't make any sense to me i don't know what else you can really do to fix this having half the potency when it goes off without any of the stacks being consumed kind of sucks but i just don't like it why are we going back to stormblood monk with riddle of earth on white mage it makes absolutely no sense to me all right guys well that's it for me now that's all i basically wanted to go over as far as uh, liturgy of the bell it's so frustrating to deal with at least for me closing thoughts i guess fix it please fix it um i thought that the changes would come out in patch 6.08 so i actually waited to post this video thinking that it wouldn't uh maybe they would change it or adjust it or something to make it better but they did not so um yeah that, that's basically all i have to say tell me in the comments section do you agree do you disagree um, uh, do you have anything that I didn't mention that maybe you want to add? Any kind of discussion? I'm all open for it. You want to debate in the comments? Feel free. Um, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, tuning out.